pocket. I'm going to have this with me next week, and I'm going to use this in order to do your videos. The first question I have is, what's your content? And the first answer I need from you is, what's your content? In other words, is it just you in front of a wall? Is it you and a PowerPoint? Is it you and your dancing? Is it you and your doing skits? You know what I mean? You have to think about this in relationship to the, to the issues, because I was often surprised by that last time. And it meant that I had to sort of choose different ways in order to resolve the issue of the video. Like, you know, how far back am I going to have to be? Am I going to have to follow you with the camera? Are we going to be focusing on your screen? Should we just be doing a screencast instead? Right? So, and I would have different answers based on what it is that you're going to do. If it's just going to be you in front of a white wall, that's fine. That's the easiest thing for me. But it may not be the best way for you to present your information. And so you need to know that. And hopefully you can take the card that I gave you and pass me on the information about what you intend to do. Um, the other thing is I need to know how long you intend to take in order to present. We, we have a limit of 10 minutes with YouTube. Um, it's, it's a sort of a false limit. There are ways you can get longer video up. And you can use Google Video to do an hour-long video if you want. Um, but we would prefer to probably stay within the 10-minute limit because more than 10 minutes of video is probably overkill anyway for, for most topics um, that you would be presenting in this format. I, am I wrong in that, do you think, Frank? No, I think you're right. Okay. So do you already have answers for my questions? Or is this something you haven't really thought about yet? Have you been asked the question? Do you know what you're what you're supposed to be answering? Okay. Can you can somebody summarize that for me? The question. Or the yeah, the question. Um, present uh, a video that will uh, basically paraphrase a cha uh, your uh, assigned chapter of the John Dewey book. So it's Dewey again. Okay. Same class. Same class. So same idea. Yeah. It's just a different set of users. Right. Okay. So then I'm familiar with, with what the format of your, of your answer is going to be. And it's probably going to be varied. One of you or more of you are going to use PowerPoints. And so it just helps for me to know that ahead of time so that if it's going to be like your face and a PowerPoint, that's a certain kind of a problem. If it's going to be just the PowerPoint and your voiceover, that's a certain kind of a problem. It's less of a problem. If it's just going to be you, that's, you know, a different way of setting up the cameras, a different way of setting up the technology. So I just need to know what it is that you want to do. Um, more importantly, you need to know. And when you show up that day, you need to have whatever it is that you're going to do, like set, ready to go. It's Because it's only going to be 10 minutes, and there's six of you, um, you said split it up between the two days. Is there any reason why, realistically, we couldn't try to do it all in one day? You could certainly do it in one day if you wanted. In fact, some of these folks can come as early as two or maybe ten of two. Uh -huh. And it could be done by three or four. Technically, you've done it by three ten. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, I mean, I mean if you, you that would be that, what we could possibly do. That would mean you'd have a class off. <laughs> What, what would you prefer? Would you prefer to, to uh, split it up between the two days? Like some of you might want to be here on Tuesday and some of you might want to be here on Thursday? And what or are we doing those yeah. Yeah. You're just going to record your video on those days. Oh, that's, that's all, all you're doing. Record yeah, video. Yeah, that's what I was okay. What, record the video? Yeah. He's going to do it for you. Okay. There's no, I mean, honestly, if you want to do it yourself, I, I don't know what benefit we have by me sort of controlling that, especially if we're making it public. Because the whole point of this is experiential knowledge about producing video for the world to see. It's not necessarily about YouTube or not necessarily about Dewey in itself. It's, it's really about the idea that you're going through the processes that everybody's starting to learn about now, which is producing video in order to widen your audience. And yes, you're presenting to the other people in this class, and you're presenting to me, but you, you're more importantly presenting to the world. And so if you already have a YouTube account and you have a camera on top of your laptop, I, I don't know what benefit there is to you taking up one of those 10 minute slots with me. It's, I'm really going to be a speed bump for you. Unless you're not going to be just sitting talking at your computer. If you're going to do something a little more interesting and creative, then banking into the computer, 
you may want you may want him here. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not trying to shirk my duty to, to be no, no, a right. technical assistant at all, but I don't want to be a speed bump to you either. If and we were actually didn't even have that possibility last time. It was like YouTube, what you know? Right, yeah. So if you're familiar with YouTube, um, maybe it's something where you come here for that time and I just sort of sit with you while you do it, and that way we sort of control the fact that it's a single take, you know. Um, but I have no problem with you controlling that process. What I do have a problem with is me sitting for a half an hour for your 10-minute slot. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's part of the reason that we did these 10-minute slots last time was that I was sort of controlling, saying this is when we're starting, this is when you're stopping. And if you take control of that process, it means that all of a sudden you're given a certain advantage over other people. You know. So. Do you understand what he's talking about? You don't, do you? Yeah, you have an, if, if you if you decide to have to take this process into your own hands and do it yourself, ah, gotcha. okay. you have the advantage of spending two hours on a ten minute clip. Right. If you're doing it through me, you're going to get your ten minutes, and that's it. Which is what I would prefer because your portfolio is going to be ten minutes, and that's it. You know what I mean? So you want to you want to come in. I mean, that's what teachers do. We don't we we, we don't get a chance to cut and paste it. I mean, you've got your class and that's what it is. So, With that in mind, it probably makes sense to follow our original plan of you coming in, me sitting with you, and even if I'm sitting with you on your own computer and you're recording it and putting it up. Um, but even that, if you're not familiar with the process, is going gonna, is gonna to take more than 10 minutes. So maybe it's just best for me to use this device or use my laptop, which is set up to do screencasting. Uh, very easily. In other words, if, if we have a, an internet connection like we do here now, there's no issue with us making it live with by three o'clock that day. You know. So this is this is a teaching assignment, not a video assignment. It's what you really want. You don't want us to make a video. You want us to teach for ten minutes. It happens to be recorded. Or you want us to prepare for something that's recorded, so that if we want to keep going, you want us to do that again. It's not about making the video. It actually is. It's about both. Okay. It's about both. It's about it's about being familiar and comfortable enough with the technology that when you do go out and teach, technology doesn't mean checking your email. Okay. Okay. It means being able to use these things in classes. Mm -hmm. It means being able to put things up for kids at night to look at. It means video mail. It means all those kinds of things. And so this is an ex an, an opportunity to to do step. Step one, if that's new to you, everybody's at a different comfort level when it comes to, to doing that. Um, the other thing is, can you talk for 10 minutes about something and be engaging and interesting and informative without reading, and then Dewey said, and then Dewey said, and then Dewey said, and then Dewey said. Um, last time, uh, there were people that, that got other people together and did a skit, a right. teacher ads, and there was a skit. Uh, there was an interview. Somebody was John Dewey, and they interviewed John Dewey, and uh, that, and then somebody else um, did a, uh, a PowerPoint where I didn't see the person at all. I just saw the PowerPoint, and they talked through the PowerPoint. There was another one where we saw the person and the PowerPoint. Um, so I mean, there's there's a lot of different ways that you can you can look at how you're going to do that. But as I said, I would like you not to bank into a computer for 10 minutes. But one of the things that's that's a, a critical, meaning important skill a teacher has is the ability to talk on a subject for 10 minutes and be engaging and add value to the people, to the lives of the people who are listening. So that's all that kind of goes together. I think that if we can take out the, oh, it's not working, oh, the technology, oh, I can't because he's here, that would just make life a little easier. That's all. And it would take 10 minutes rather than 110 minutes because, oops, that didn't come out. I got to do that again. Oops, that didn't work. Oop, the light. And I think if John is here, all that will will become um, a non -issue. You're not encumbered with the technology yeah. anymore. You're just encumbered with your assignment, which is to, to teach and happen to be recorded. Right. I will tell you that knowing uh, uh, knowing you're being recorded, we, I can speak. Knowing you're being recorded is a very different feeling than just kind of talking at the table among, among everybody. Knowing that camera's on there, it's like, a real different. And knowing that other people are going to watch and maybe we're not sure who is a little, is very different. 